I'm going to take a quick video of this because sometimes I see posted on the Facebook groups and stuff what happens if I let this one pretty whatever plant just be in my new restoration or my garden or my native plant planting that's sort of designed and yet a little bit left to nature's whims and you know it's very difficult to actually identify the native plants especially when they're small and there's many of them and they look different when they're small versus large so you can see this kind of it's kind of a lovely russet color that extends all over this forest preserve into the woods now the woods has a lot of new sun openings because all of the ash trees are dead and have come down and they've been doing re restoration activities here um, that is in evidence and this last summer the entire place filled up with this and I'll put in the comments what it is but the point of the video really isn't necessarily this specific plant quote weed it really has to do with the principle behind it so nature is going to fill a void and the stewards and the stewardship activities have kept, quote, the bad weeds from filling the voids. So now they've got this, I mean, acres and acres, really, of this really annoying weed, but not horrible to control weed. And I believe uh, it's native. So... This is what the flowers used to look like. Imagine yellow petals. And then when the flowers are done, this is the annoying part of this weed. It makes those, those little stick tights. And those little suckers are really annoying, but their job is to cling and travel. And this weed is one of the weeds that clings and travels and finds the places that nature decides, uh-oh, we need somebody here to hold the soil. And so it fills the void. So underneath a lot of this here in this woods are the beginnings of some sedges or else the old remaining sedges that have finally been able to, to grow um, they've been also removing poison ivy and things and poison ivy does cover that last few inches from sunshine to, to soil. So many plants won't compete against the well-established poison ivy, although once the plants are established, poison ivy fits just fine into our typical native Midwestern ecosystems. So I'll leave you at that and I'm going to zoom in on that beautiful oak tree back there. And there's one in, a little bit in front of it too. Thanks for joining me.